3DP UK here with just a really quick video. Um, actually, this is about dimensions of the um, AnyCubic Cobra Max. So, um, had a question from one of my followers on YouTube, and uh, they just wanted to know what the actual surface area of the the machine itself was. Um, obviously, you've got the build size, but once the plate or the build plate moves back, um, it takes up a lot more room, as you can see. So, what I was going to do was just quickly measure for you. So we're going to go to probably about half an inch away from uh, the wall. Um, that's about where the build plate stops. So, and then going to the front of the machine, we're looking at about 30, say 32 inches, taking into consideration the tensioners as well. So we're looking at 32 inches from front to back. Um, that's the surface or the area that um, the build plate requires front and back. Um, in terms of the height, what you want to be looking for is, um, I would say, uh, let's get that right. Um, so we are looking from uh, base to the top of the gantry. We're looking at about 28 inches clearance. That's probably giving it a, maybe half an inch clearance at the top. So we want to take that into consideration. You want a bit of clearance. Um, as you can see, I'm quite close to the top. Um, and then in terms of the width. So we are looking at from the screen, because um, obviously we need to take that into consideration um to the filament spool holder we're looking at about 30 say 30 inches in terms of the actual filament holder itself and then if you add the spool we're looking at about 32 inches um and then the footing so what we're talking about is the the legs to the any cubic cobra max we are then looking at so you want something you want a build surface area oh sorry the platform area to be the legs to be sat on so i'm using um a piece of plywood which is 24 inches long um and it sits quite comfortably on that with quite a bit of clearance on either side and then we've got the width is 24 so it's a 24 by 24 footing um that's what you want to make sure that your um any cubic cobra max sits on as long as it's got that um, as you can see, front and back, I've got about a half an inch space. They're rubber, they're rubber feet. So, in terms of, as you can see, I've got a print on at the moment. There's no vibration. The rubber feet help with that. As long as your um, build area that it's going to be sat in on is quite secure, it's not wobbling about, then you shouldn't have too much issue. So yeah, that's pretty much the dimensions. Um, any questions leave some comments in the um, comment section of this video and I'll try and answer it um, I tried to do it in videos because obviously visually it helps rather than just words because if I reply to a comment from one user it's quite possible another user might have the same question but it's probably wouldn't be aware to ask so I thought it would be better to put it as a, a video but anyway that's the AnyCubic Cobra Max dimensions uh, like and subscribe